All right, welcome back. Today's RBI is actually a story that actually rocked global markets two weeks ago today, the Evergrande Group debt bomb. It was just two weeks ago, if you remember, we woke up and a missed debt payment by a company probably nobody outside of China has ever heard of sent futures tanking. And here we are 14 days later and the debt issue is still hanging out there and it's unclear if anything has been paid back. And here's why you've got to pay attention to the story. Because Evergrande Group is big. I mean, really big. Look at this cool stat from the Wall Street Journal over the weekend. Evergrande Group has 700 developments being built right now. 700. Those are the total size of 513 Empire State buildings. That according to the journal, thanks to the cool graphic. Remember, that's what's being built now, not what they have already built. And they are funding a lot of that growth with debt. Evergrande Group is one of, if not the, most indebted company in the world. But let's put some of those numbers, shall we, into perspective. For example, Avalon Bay and Equity Residential are two of America's biggest real estate developers. They each have about $9 or $7 billion in debt, respectively. Avalon Bay, by the way, has 80,000 apartments. It is big. Evergrande Group has $88.5 billion in debt and $300 billion in total liabilities, things like receivables and companies it owes. Look at that. Our two biggest real estate developers combined are just a tiny fraction of Evergrande Group's total debt. By the way, the next interest payment on its bonds is $83 million alone. That is the payment it missed back on September 23rd. Oh, by the way, it also has $37 billion with a B due in a year. They have a 30-day grace period to make that payment, September 23rd, October 22nd. Circle that day on your market calendar. Random, but important, hopefully.